I am not a negative person, so I really enjoyed doing my top five most hated Disney films. That was a lot of fun because it gave me a chance to say, actually, I, I'm not just a fangirl for these things. I do have opinions where I don't like certain aspects. And then I thought, you know, I, want, I really want to do this with the Harry Potter characters that I don't like. I fear the backlash. So please just bear in mind that these are the characters that I don't personally like. I don't necessarily disagree with people who do like them because I know we all have different perspectives and different reasons for liking and disliking characters. Although there is one character in this list of five that may send a lynch mob after me. So I should point out first of all that these are five characters who we're supposed to like. They are five characters who people traditionally like. They're not your Umbridge or your Aunt Marge, who you're supposed to hate. I actually kind of like Umbridge. These are five characters who are very popular. And I'm going to begin with, in no order, Tonks. Nymphadora Tonks. In the book, in the books I don't mind Tonks. I can read her sections and move on. But in the films there's something about Tonks that I do not like. And that's, you know, she's well acted. I think the character's presented well. But I do not like her. And I don't know why, and I feel awful for saying I don't know why, because often, you know, I've always been told that if you don't like something, you should identify the reason why you don't like it, so you can then either work out if it's a logical opinion, or you just learn something about yourself. But I just, oh, I don't know, I get so irritated by Tonks. Then we have one who I'm not entirely sure if I'm supposed to like or not, because she is irritating. But at the same time, she does have some fans, and that's Lavender Brown. She winds me up. When she's on screen, I'm just like, right, can we move on and just get to the killing scenes or something? Because I'm just not a fan of that character. Uh, she's very, very well acted and I think she comes across very well. Like, I feel like the transition from book to screen works well with that character. She really comes alive. But I just I hate her. Now, I know the next character, some people don't like her because they're jealous of her, because of her relations with Harry Potter. But that's not the case for me. I just feel like this next character is very... I don't want to use the word wimpy because that sounds offensive, but you know, she's just... It's like she's considered to be a courageous character, but she's just a bit wet and just really pathetic. And that's Cho Chang. I know the Dumbledore's army fans will come after me, but I just never liked her. I didn't like her in the books. I don't like her in the films. She just adds nothing. She adds stuff to Harry's personal development. But to me, as a reader or as a viewer, she adds no emotions, no excitement. She doesn't even add hatred because I don't hate her in the sense that I want her to, you know, have her downfall. I just don't like her. I don't like the character. I don't like what she adds or lack of. Cho Chang for me will never be a character that I can get on board with. And then we come to one who I think is a bit hit or miss. I am saving the worst to last because I need to brace myself. But this one is... Cedric Diggory. I know, and without giving away spoilers, Cedric Diggory's ultimate, what happens with Cedric Diggory, is upsetting. I didn't shed a tear. I wasn't that bothered. But generally speaking, that kind of thing shouldn't be able to happen at Hogwarts, and it did. And I think he had a, a very poignant ending, and a very powerful story development through Goblet of Fire. But in terms of a character, I'm not a, a Cedric Diggory fangirl, and I know there are a lot of Cedric Diggory fangirls. And I think that makes me hate him all the more, because I just don't understand why he's on such a pedestal. <sighs> okay, um, I'm very nervous about this one. I don't like Albus Dumbledore. I know, I know. And I genuinely don't like him. It's not just that I'm indifferent. I'm not part of Dumbledore's army. I will never fight for Dumbledore. I will stand with Bellatrix and, and maybe not fight for Voldemort, but fight against Dumbledore at the very least. And I don't have any rationale behind that. There's nothing about Dumbledore specifically that I don't like. I don't think he's pompous. I don't think he's stuck up. I don't think, you know, because he doesn't go around saying, oh, I'm Dumbledore, the greatest wizard ever. Gandalf fans may argue differently, but because he doesn't act like that, it's not like I'm saying, oh, you're just a pompous, mm. I just don't like him. And I think it's because everyone's like, Dumbledore's the best thing ever. I, I don't see that. I don't see anything in Dumbledore that makes him better. Like, to me, Professor McGonagall is a fantastic witch. She's wonderful, and I think she's 
you know, she's got a perfect balance of stern uh, and, and friendliness. She's really great. Whereas Dumbledore, I just feel it's a bit standoffish. I just, I know, I've never liked Dumbledore. I've never taken to Dumbledore. I'm not saying I never will. Maybe in the future my opinions or interests or tastes will change. Obviously, because I'm a Slytherin and I'm a huge fan of the dark arts and I love Voldemort, there was always going to be that barrier between me and Dumbledore. But even before I realised I was a Slytherin, I, I, I never took to him. And I'm sorry. It's done. It's over. I really enjoyed making this video, but I'm kind of nervous for the backlash. So we'll see how this goes. Please be kind. And I would love to know which Harry Potter characters who are popular who you don't like.